do cyclists have to stop for school buses when the lights are flashing? Absolutely. Just like any other vehicle on the road, they have to stop and uh, and wait until the flashing lights and the stop sign go in uh, and, and turn off. They're, they're required to. Yes. Okay. Well, cyclists think that uh, <clears throat> the traffic laws don't apply to them. Many of them do follow the rules, and a, 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 a group that are very identifiable by their lack of following the rules don't, and that's the problem. We have people who, it's the same thing with motorists. Uh, you know, we have the, yeah. the majority do, and then we have these folks that drive us crazy when they break the laws. All right. Now, there's another question, actually, that's bicycle-related. Are these bicycle carriers on the backs of cars hiding the plate? Is that legal? They are not legal. You cannot obstruct your plate. And what should be happening, although it's it's uh, it's very common in Europe, it's not common here, people should be removing their plates and affixing them to a, a carrier position, either by zip ties or if, you're, if you've got a high-quality bicycle rack, uh, it'll have a place for your plate. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Okay, and so people just don't want to bother uh, moving it back and forth if they're taking the bicycle rack on and off. I think that they're just not aware of the fact. I think a lot of this is uh, is an ig- ignorance of the law as opposed to uh, you know just, you know wanting to break it. Uh, for some people, they're popping it on quickly, taking it off, and that's not an excuse. But listen, you know this isn't the focus. It isn't something that we're 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 pulling over everybody with a bicycle rack uh, to enforce this. But it is a problem. You know, if you're on the 407, you're going to get a ticket for obstructing your plate to uh, to avoid toll charges uh okay. they, they don't mess around and uh and we'll usually caution someone first but uh you can be charged it's a 110 uh ticket for blocking your plate and talking about plates we have people who have peeling plates who have uh dirty plates who have uh, covers on the plate it's all under the same law well, actually, somebody sent a question in about opaque license plate covers. You get a ticket for that? Even, even te- yes, you do. Uh, you can't because if we can't read it, we've got to pull you over. We've got to decipher what it is. And very often, it's it's people who are choosing to avoid detection, whether it be by because they don't want to be caught on uh, red light cameras or speed cameras or what have you. So yeah, we do enforce that. And uh, even a clear cover is technically illegal. You can't do it because they're not optically correct. They do obscure the plate. Uh, not the highest priority on our on our, on our list of things to do, but. Uh, we do enforce that. Yeah, I, I like that you said that, the, you know, the difference between people maybe being blissfully unaware of what a regulation is and the people who just break it on purpose. Like, there's there's absolutely no way that a bicycle rider can say they didn't know the light was red and they just went through anyway. And they do it all the time in downtown Toronto. Um, on the other hand, the thing about the bicycle rack and the license plate, people just might not think about it. Just put the bicycle rack on and throw the bikes on there and away they go. And so I can understand that. And it leads to my bugaboo. And we have talked about this before. But, oh, man, I wish people would understand this. The countdown clock for pedestrians is not a race. It's, uh, you know, I've come up with the phrase, uh, don't walk on the clock. And I have to deal with this every day when I'm trying to get off of Richmond and on to um, Spadina and make that left-hand turn. Very few cars are getting through sometimes because the pedestrians just won't stop. Well, you know what? There's definitely confusion. It's not a race to tell you you've got a few more minutes to a few more seconds to run the, the light and be there safely. The idea is to give people who may have mobility issues and identify it at a time to to uh, to figure out how much time they have left to get out safely before traffic's going to start moving in the other way. So it's, it's yeah. to give them an idea of how much time they've got left and, you know, use whatever energy they've got to keep going. Okay, Sean Shapiro was with me, the Tic Tac tra- uh, traffic cop, and here, did I say Tic Tac? You did, Instead but it's okay. We, nobody nobody uh, was going to tell right. you. Okay. <laughs> Maybe we can get Tic Tac to sponsor you. Hey, there um, you go. <laughs> that would be funny. The Tic Tac traffic cop brought to you by Tic Tac. Uh, okay, or the other way around or something. <laughs> it wouldn't work because the host can't handle it. If you have traffic questions, we've got traffic answers. Follow us for more.